What is up everyone? Welcome back to our playthrough for Baldur's Gate 3. We're exactly as we left Walking off. Death. Come here. I need help. Why are we moving so slowly? Is it just me? I can't remember. What's up no for more. discussion? I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? Easy, stand there. Kill it yourself. Kill it yourself. I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. Oh, lovely. Do they stack up? I wonder. Okay. Nice. Yeah. I saw you on the ship, strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pod. What did you and those tentacled freaks do to me? Eh, uh, they snatched me up too. You arrogant little... Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. What was that? What's going on? The worm. Of course. That explains things somewhat. Mm -hmm. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> A kindred <laughs> spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. A pleasure. So... Do you know anything about these worms? Hmm. No. Of that much we can be certain. These worms are already affecting me. I can feel it. Now, what to do about it? I was ready to go this alone. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't a bad idea. Safety in numbers, after all. And I hate to turn down an invitation. All right. Maybe I'll see you there. Good luck. As he leaves, you're flooded with visions of a perfect, pretty corpse. Okay, so we transform only for the dialogue. So as not to ruin it. Okay, where are we? Is this where we came from? No, we came from over there. Can we talk to a pig? Away! Away! You're all the same. Too many of my kind died because of your spears, but not me! 
can we like do a whole game around saving a pig or the adventures of the lust of the pigs I, I assume we can they made a game about a cat so you know that's that okay mm, where do you want to go oh, I do not know I wish I had somebody in my party to play together with but no one back home will ever believe this that will do as well let's go What's collect some stuff okay we went through here and went out there okay cool so all is left is uh, this end exit afterwards let's go here I can't remember exactly where is what which is a good thing to be quite footprints there we, may be even more that survived the crash this is like a game that you vaguely remember but not all too well places you've been goblins over there something's amiss with that room seems unstable Mm-hmm. We can go here afterwards. Although... Well, let's pull him out. Not to spoil too much. We'll crunch the sigil on the cool. stone. You know. <laughs> Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically. As if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Most of the time I'll try to go for something brute specific or dark urge specific. Whatever you're doing is working wonders! Now a quick little pull should do the trick! Why is he not grabbing me? As if he's not alive. Oh my. Oh. Hello. Hi. I'm Gail of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. That magic. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking, you were on the Norse Lloyd as well. Yeah, it was an excursion of sorts. I don't know what transpired exactly, but the ship broke into pieces and I suddenly found myself in freefall. As I was plummeting to certain death, I spied a glimmer quite near where I estimated my body to impact with less than savory propulsion. Recognizing this glimmer to be magical in nature, I reached out to it with a weaving of words and found myself on the other side, as it were. How about you? How did you survive the fall? Mm. That vast burning wreckage behind you somewhat contradicts your story, but here you stand. So who am I to argue? <laughs> still, swashbuckling heroics aside, I have the unfortunate suspicion your survival is still very much in jeopardy. Back on the ship, you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Were you not? No you sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite? Are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, 
And let me assure you, it is to be avoided. <laughs> you don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle? You seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most cleric's skills. Most? No doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. Basic ones. Yeah. Well, let's go for the established few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer Ooh. together? Right now, considering we have two supports, we really would need an attack, a good, decent damage dealer. Epithania, welcome to join. Yeah. Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. <laughs> oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. For I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. Okay, now that he leveled up, your party is shown on the side. The portrait shown you can help in conditions. Drag the portraits to split the party. Yeah, also we can press G to split them all together. Inspect. Gale, wizard, opportunity attack. No, wait. Mm, token group examine, examine. No. No. How do we. I can't remember how to level. God damn it. You have my attention. Mm, there we go. Level up. Just in case you're watching this. You haven't played the game and you're a bit confused. He's leveled up because he joined the group and the group is of the same level. Ooh, evocation, necromancy, enchantment, divination, illustration, transportation. You are known as Novogus, study at home. The art and chaos. Learning evocation spells from schools only cost you. Do you know what? I think I was using evocation. That was fun. It's a typical mage damage dealer sorcerer type scenario. And then I did a multi class on him and split him into. Because he's a wizard. And there is a separate sorcerer, 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 sorcerer. Yeah, sorcerer. I think so. Hopefully you understand. And uh, yeah, he was quite cool. So let's try something else. With the structure of things, has granted you an incredible power of crude meta and its manipulation. Hmm. Illusion. You specialize in a revenue restriction the fabric of reality. You pee through it, time itself, can sculpture the future like temporal. Oh, pardon, your dreams grant you that. And that lets you influence the future after each long rest, you gain two random potent dice. Nah. Mirror illusions, 20 turns. Bonus action, improved minor illusion. You can cast minor illusion. This is really cool. Because this, as far as I can remember, this essentially lets you like it's harder to hit you because you're casting illusion or not around you what is this one you can brew to alchemy no don't want to brew your magic influence beguiles and bends the will and conviction of those around you learning enchantments yeah okay charm an incapacitated creature it cannot attack you it cannot act for two turns the thing is, he can be a debuff, right? Because I definitely want him and Shadowheart, and the next position is open. I don't want an assassin, so most likely... Oh, I want a bard, so we need a damage dealer. Maybe. Hmm, we'll see. Conjuration is... Compelling by ship motion, your favorite eight arcane style involves summoning creatures and objects, as well as displacing them in space. This would be pretty cool. Necromancy. I wish there was a um, 
dice that you could roll, like choosing between the two, and then you roll the dice and you proceed at random. Would be kind of cool. Necromancy, not a big fan so far, at least well, um, from what I've seen. And wave into a can. Okay, so it's between conjuration and illusion. Illusion would be very good at because this is it lasts long. Twenty turns is a long fight. So you cast this once as a bonus action, mind you. And you spend a or conjuration because this might create water. And I say this might be interesting. Okay, let's try illusion. And call it a day. Okay, so he needs to do damage, right? So, like, uh, once again, just to so that if you're watching this, at least you know as much as I do, which is n not much, but precisely this makes it much more interesting to play this game for me. Um, so, burning hands, right? We look at the damage, so it's from 3 till 8. So it depends on the situation and etc. Three damage six, no clue. It's something to do with the roll, with the with the with the um, with the chance that you roll the attack, and every time you attack somebody, some numbers are uh, not too confusing. You know, some like YouTube is full of more knowledgeable people that can easily explain this. I never understood it anyway, but it. Like, the more the, the better, as far as my understanding goes. This is very simple. Uh, so, on save, targets still take half damage, which is really cool. Because there's, like, uh, if the target has resists or, like, something else, or strong versus fire, he still takes half damage. He, he. Five meters is the range. I miss that completely. Like, utterly miss that. In the first playthrough, I was doing so so many mistakes trying to use a spell, which I thought made sense that it's a ranged spell and it's a melee spell, so you have to be standing next to the opponent. And finally at the very end you have a green bubble, a green circle, which is action, and each turn you have at least a one action and one... what's it called? bonus action you see here the last line triangle <coughs> yeah and it requires level one spell slot which I th as far as I can remember you can regenerate only during uh, long rests yeah you can mod the game to hell so that you have much more but uh, pff, I'd never found that to be like only in the beginning when I was figuring out the game it was quite annoying afterwards it became fine Okay, magic missile. Shoots three magic dots, each dealing two to five force damage. They always hit their target. This is perfect. Like it doesn't. It scales. It's a long range. And it's good. No. Okay, what is this chromatic orb? How is sphere? Sphere that. Uh, thunder and possibly creates a surface and impact. Hell a sphere. Hmm. This is also pretty cool. Maybe we take this one. 324. 322. Throw dice. Piercing it explodes. 212. Hmm. Cool. If false life level gain seven temporary hits okay so you can't stack them this is only from one source as it says hmm we'll have this from my what's it what's he what's he called from the bard character that we want to pick up so hmm Flying creatures have to combine. Which one do we use? This is very, very useful. We'll pick it up later though. Because now we need a bit more offensive. So, action and level. Ok, 
because theoretically we can do this you essentially it starts raining right with first action and then you do this thunder and as far as I can oh no it's uh, lightning you need lightning damage I imagine you could do lightning of summoning creatures and objects I don't know maybe we take conjuration in the end I'm curious to know if we will get the minor illusion no we'll stick with this one because we've chosen so magic missile and we have sickness Ooh. Sorry, undecisive, very much so. We're not doing thunder per se. This is force, right? Right. This is ice. Mm. Ice does decent damage and does explosion. Okay, tell you what. This one also 318, 322, 324. Okay, let's take this and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Prepare spells. Oh, damn it. Okay, he needs that. Witch bolt. Link yourself to a target with a bolt of lightning. Yeah, with water, this will do a ton of damage already. Also has a thunder wave. Release a thunder that may unsafe targets still have. This is a cool scale. Okay. No, we go with conjuration because this creates him instantly much, much more confident. No, 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 because. As far as my understanding goes, improve mind and illusion. You can use this without using a spell skill, or you can use this without the spell skill, right? Without the spell skill, without the uh, using a um, pardon my language spell slot, and without a spell slot, a buff that helps you can yeah you can set up on your whole team within three three moves as a bonus action that costs more that's more yeah we're gonna do this ah decisions 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 what is this sleep two turns not enough Ideally, I want to take a couple of bonus actions to know that this is all actions. Okay, fair enough. Um, sleep, Witch Bolt, Chromatic Orb. Let's try the Chromatic Orb. Okay, that took a little while. I'm sorry about that. So, let's go. Which way to the nearest library? As you can see, right now, I made a mistake. <laughs> now, I can summon a cat. Although it can serve as a distraction. Okay, let's stop talking. Is that and a cat? No, never mind. Never mind. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, uh, we gonna go here. There, a mind flayer, and it's hurt. Approach with extreme caution. Ninja mind flayer is still speak. a dangerous one. You are unable to speak. Seek and you shall find me. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. Yes, you feel hate, and you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind. Forcing you to <laughs> love it, but then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Great success. Your mind's views, lusting for something that is gone. But then its grip claws back with a vengeance, a vice locking your mind into obedience. It needs sustenance to survive, and with your very body, you can provide. Okay, let's see if they're gonna kill him. Because this is not the main character. So. Get away from that thing! Cool. Let's see what happens. Warm, wet tentacles wrap Ew. themselves around your head. And for the first time in your life, you're perfectly happy. <laughs> Character death. A member of Adventure Party has died. Use a scroll. Outmatched. You can always flee. Okay. So he's 47. Yeah, we should be good. Uh, shadow hearts. Shadow hearts. Shadow hearts. Shadow, shadow, shadow hearts. Shadow. Wait. No target. Choose destination. Take you. Yeah, we'll take him. Some healing for a wizard in need. Hey, Let's gladly, my friend. This. There you go, look. Okay, now you kinda go away slightly. Yeah. Another fight. Let's go. And you. Nip a target if it attacks. So four to seven. Action and action. Okay, that's that's not much. One can't always be a gentleman. You see? Well worth. Yeah, like this is, you know, this is why why we picked him. Okay, that that didn't go according to plan. But okay. Noodle is stunned. Oh, for fuck's sake. Charm a humanoid to prevent it from attacking you. Sanctuary. There we go. Yeah, 
what is this? Uh, gains ability checks. Yep. No bloom, all doom. Mm -hmm. Investigation successful. Okay, so like he figured out what what's going on. Oh, damn. Wait, how the fuck did that happen? You or an ally can all be targeted until it. Ah, area spells. Okay, I did not know that. Okay, Noodle is not doing very well. Let's be honest. Here. Yeah. Okay, what do we do? I'll be good. And this is a reaction, but we're missing any bonus spell. Mm-hmm. Nothing will stand in my way. Oof. Fuck you know. Mm, I'm confused slightly. Do we do bonus single use? <sighs> Okay, so now action, action. Okay, so I have no action right now. Destroyer. Okay, this is the last skill slot that he had. Yeah, now he's gonna look at the cat. Check this out. Cool. Look. Look at the cat, you bastard. Oh, you prick. What a prick. Investigation successful. Screw you. Mm. Against them have advantage. No. We need this. We need this. Okay, not to hit Shadow Heart. And now. You bastard. Okay, let's loot him. Okay. Not the greatest loot ever, but okay, let's look quickly around. And uh, yeah. But we did fight him. Do you know what I mean? We did not chicken the fuck out. And with that, we should go here. And oh yeah, we take a short rest, right? That took the edge off. That's how you heal a little bit. There is work to do. All is ash and meat. Mm hmm. Expanded spell slots while out of combat. Oh, cool! And we wait. We use one of these. Wild shape is one of these. Okay. Cool. So further down the line, it will be easier. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So we save and yeah, this is an episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.